guys, how's it going? This is Mod 14 here, and we're back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. Uh, hopefully you can hear me this time. Um, <laughs> I hope you can. Uh, I did a test recording just before this video, and um, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, hope you guys are all doing good. Let me check my deck, actually, because it's been a while. Uh, let me see the angle here. I think things look okay. Mm, yeah, hang on a sec. It's a bit tilted. There we go. I think that looks good. Okay. Now to check my deck here. What did I really win last time? I don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, I think... Oh yeah, that's right. Um... By the way, just to update you guys, uh, there are a few episodes recorded about this, and I post I posted um, an update video about this issue. Actually, is um, yeah, you may see a few new cards in my deck, like Umi, the regular one. Um, we won those in the bonus episodes that basically I recorded, but uh, they failed to record my commentary for whatever reason. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you may see those and a few other new cards in, but like I said in that update video, I'm going to post this video first, and then I'm going to, uh, post those older videos, and with the HD with no commentary, because those did record with sound, so. Um, also, just in case this episode failed, what I did is, I, uh, basically just saved... I created two save files, so if this one doesn't upload, I'll just uh, go from the other save file. And I, I'm not recording this one on the on the HD capture device. So uh, if you're looking for this one, commentary and HD, uh, sorry, I, I'm just doing it this way. I, I think it'll be a lot easier, really, just doing it this way, uh, especially considering the failed recordings and whatnot. But anyway. We're going to attempt, uh, oh, not that tier, that's the tier for the next time. We're going to attempt this tier, uh, in which I had failed commentary. Tier 5 for the triple duels. Actually, let me, let me see the order. Let me see who I unlocked, actually, because that way I can know to change up the order. Okay, so I unlocked Banded Keith. Okay, well then let's put, uh, you know what, let's put Bones last, and, um, yeah, let's put Bones last so we can unlock him. That way, that's not a waste of time as far as that goes. And then we'll put, we'll put Keith up first. Alright, let's see if we can beat him, Keith. Now we should have a real, like, advantage here. Uh... Yeah, let's duel. I can waste a couple of minutes, and that's how long this duel's gonna take in America. Haha. <laughs> Can't dweeb. Relax, Bones. We're working on a strategy here. <laughs> oh man, I love Bandit Keith so much. <laughs> this character's so cool, man. Oh, and the theme music they play for him in the uh, in the American version was really like really really good. Uh, hang on a sec, guys. I'm actually going to get my remote. Looks like we got a good starting hand. I'm going to get my remote turn up the volume a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Make sure we can hear a little better. Yeah, so we've got a pretty good hand here. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. I'm going to use that right away. Just get rid of whatever you got there, Keith. Ah, a spell card in America. Gamble and Trap Hole. Okay. We'll go Mystic Tomato. Probably go ahead and play Umi just because it all this version also weakens uh I'll just show what it does. Ooh, that's pretty, I like it. <laughs> that's pretty, yeah. Increases the attack and defense of all fish, sea serpent, thunder, and aqua types. So that's mainly what we have in our deck. But it also decreases the attack and defense of all machine and pyro types by 200. So there you go. Alright, and we'll just do a nice little direct attack with Mystic Tomato. Dog Spinal. <laughs> Is that all you got, Dweeb? In America. 
Oh man. Keith is a pretty cool character, man. I I, I don't know what else to say. Guardian of the Throne Room. Uh oh wow. Just enough to beat me. Only Messiah. I don't know why I'm saying epic attack names here. There's someone a monster, you betcha. Uh let's figure out Sangin, because I'm gonna tribute it for legendary fishermen. Uh, that's also a card we got in the- Oh! Well, am I gonna tribute it for Legendary Fisherman? Cause we got Amphibian Beast and that's... Pretty cool. You know what? I will play Legendary Fisherman first. You ready to say again? Uh... What do I have in here? Um... Oh yeah, Penguin Soldier. That's what I usually go for. How could I forget you, little penguin? Uh, so Legendary Fisherman, um... Yeah, this is one of the cards we want in the, you know, in the time stream. <laughs> uh, one from Mako, finally, from the Obelisk statue. Uh, when Umi's on the field, this card is unaffected by any spell cards and can't be attacked. So there's Umi right there. Got that combo going. Uh, that also means that Legendary Fisherman does not get like a 200 point boost. Oh, that, that looks cool. That's a cool looking attack. Is that all you got, weed? But, um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it also means that Legendary Fisherman won't get the, uh, the boost from Umi, uh, because it's unaffected by all spell cards, not just, um, not just, uh, your opponent's spell cards. I think so. I was trying to say there. It's a pretty cool looking attack for Legendary Fisherman. It's like a, I don't know, well basically he's using the harpoon I guess and it's like water stream boom. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this episode records my commentary, man. Um, yeah, because what happened last time, I still don't really know, like, why it didn't record my voice, like, ugh, and that's almost as frustrating as anything, but... Uh, anyway, this should finish him off here. Harping Torpedo! I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we win, Keith. What do you have to say for yourself? No! I never lose! Oh, uh, that's pretty straight to the point. In America! Sorry, Keith, but you just did lose, so... You were lying? I don't know. Uh, for Pegasus, I don't think we need to change any cards, really. It's showtime! The one who rules Duel Monster rules the world, the Yugi boy! <laughs> Alright, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, in our first duel, he actually, like, summoned Relinquished on me, like, a couple times. Uh, ooh, yeah, we got Torrential Tribute firsthand. This is pretty good. Alright, and um, I'm not sure if this is new music in the tier, in this tier or not, but uh, either way I like it, this is great music. Let's see, Banner of Courage, sure, we'll go ahead and play that. Your mind is an open book, I knew you were going to play that spell, god, Yugi boy. Alright, let's see if you really do have the Millennium Eye, do you know that I have something that's 2,000 defense points face down? I don't know. Oh, well, I guess you do, that- How wonderful, I activate my spell card! Well, fine. I might as well play Solemn Wishes now, you know? Jerk. You're gonna thunderbolt me. I guess I should've played Torrential Tribute face down. That, uh... That might've helped. Horse Raider's pretty powerful, I must say. Alright, Pegasus. Uh, yeah, let me set Torrential Tribute. Uh, interesting, Torrential Tribute. Maybe what I should do is just not play anything, see if he'll summon something, and that way I can Torrential Tribute it. Because yeah, I don't want to get rid of my own Aquamador, that's what I'm mainly thinking of here. It's like, I could set Aquamador to block, but... If he summons, I want to turn to a tribute, so... Oh, he didn't summon, you jerk. Well... 
Crap. We'll just let let the attack go through, I guess. Too bad I activated my truck god. Ooh, that was a, a bit of a different attack from War Street. I had like a cube. I don't know, a cube of darkness there. That was different. Oh, okay. Well, this could be good. Mystic Tomato. Alright. Life Absorbing Machine. Uh, I think this gets back half the life points you pay. Right, right. So that's good for Toon World and Toon Monsters, too. Uh, most of the early two monsters from like Spell Ruler and uh, I'm sorry, Magic Ruler, they require yeah, they require like 500 points to attack. So I can see why that's in his deck. All right, Mystic Tomato. So we'll search for Sangin, and then I'll probably tribute for Marie the Fallen One. Yeah, seems about as good as plan as any. Like, he's only playing War Street right now, there's no other, no other monsters he's playing right now, so, yeah. Sacrifice Sangan, we get Penguin Soldier, like usual, and then we'll attack, thanks to the Banner of Courage, Penguin Soldier. You know, I guess I could, uh, send Penguin Knight to the side deck, that's probably a good call. Alright, Banner of Courage coming in clutch. Ooh, man, <laughs> look at that frame rate drop when <laughs> both of us get taken out. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now now we both, this is going to be an interesting duel. Because we both got, you know, life point. I activate Toon World. Welcome to a world of pain. A world of absolute madness. A world of Toons. Uh, but yeah, that's, wow, that's pretty cool, um, this is actually the altar, the alternate art of Toon World, and we only recently got this in the, uh, in the TCG, like, I think it was the Millennium Pack, um, yeah, that's something I've never pointed out, but, um, yeah, the, uh, quite a few cards in this game have alternate artwork, like, um, Widespread Ruin and Toon World and some other cards, too. And we only, like, recently just got those. That's pretty funny. Oh, that stung. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, what was I saying before? I need a drink. I don't remember. Mmm. Right, that's what I was saying. Yeah, this duel's gonna be kind of, uh, interesting, because we're both... Aw, oh, swords, really, man? Okay, that's, that's a fair play. But like I was saying, it's going to be fairly interesting because we're both really just continu continually gaining life points. So that makes things... It's pretty much going to be a war of attrition in the long run here. Uh, especially since he has Swords of Revealing Light. Um, it's going to really stall things out some more. Uh, luckily, he's not getting... Um... Uh, any tune monsters or any monsters he can play normally. Like, I'm sure these are probably tribute monsters in his hand, like maybe Toon Summon Skull, or I don't even know if he has Toon Blue Eyes, but he just doesn't have the tributes for him yet. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Uh, if he does get the tributes, though, Penguin Soldier to the rescue, so that's the plan right now. And we're just going to wait out swords. So that's gone. I think we have a couple more turns before we can attack. So Pegasus is playing pretty good here. Alright, six cards in hand. Yeah, we're, like I said, we're both gaining life points. Wow. And I got three penguin soldiers. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. But yeah, we're both gaining life points out of the wazoo. So. Alright, just in our turn. Oh, what time are we at? 14 minutes? Alright. We can do this. What you got, Pegasus? What you got? So, Swords is finally gone. That's good. And he still doesn't have a monster. So, really, this is going pretty, pretty good for us. Um, and now we can finally start attacking. He discarded... Oh, Parrot Dragon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dragon from the Cartoons. Yeah. I think this actually was, 
was a Toon Monster, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, you know, I actually kind of want to attack with one of my pink- wait, wait, if I attack with all my penguin soldiers, will that be game? Uh, let me think here. 7 no, 950, because- no, 1150, Banner of Courage. 1150 times 3, that's like, uh, it's like 3450, 2000, ooh, man, you know what? That won't be a game, but it'll be pretty close, actually. Um, so let's put no. Now this is kind of risky, me not using Penguin Soldier's effect, but... Um, he's so close to being finished off, I think it's... And our life points are really high too, so... I think this, like I said, I think this might get really close to game, but it might not finish him off. So, either way though, I think I'm okay with doing this. Uh, yeah. Especially since, I mean, he has nothing going right now, and I don't want him to... Oh no, don't do that again, you boy. Yeah, I don't want to let him, you know, build up momentum. Uh, ooh, it just is going to be enough, too. Nice! Triple Penguin Soldier! Alright, Akamador, finish him off. Hydro Bust. Oh man, his face, like, when he takes damage, or loses, look at that, it's kind of... Kind of creepy, actually. Unbelievable! My Millennium my felt me! Oh no, how could I lose? Let's duel again! My eye! My magic! It's all failed me! No. <laughs> Alright, and we're just down to bones. And we, and we got a ton of life points, so... <laughs> my zombies will drag you screaming into the ground! Brains, 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 brains! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ah, gonna need some more water. Here we go. Some good music. Dig that beat. Oh, oh I forgot to side out Penguin Knight. Eh, oh well. Three face downs, huh? Well, lucky for me, I got a good hand. Harpy's Feather Duster right there. Ripe and waiting for you. So, nice. Giant Red Sea Snake, too. This is good. This is good. So yeah, this, huh, a spell, so this round with the tears is going like a lot better, a lot easier than my first attempt there, <laughs> as you guys saw. Oh man, look at Bones' face. Uh, but yeah, Bones, um, uh, oh yeah, and I really didn't talk about the player's decks, but I I'm sure you guys, well, not only that, but you guys saw from the first, you know, round at this tier. Uh, ooh, that's a creepy looking monster. But yeah, uh, the deck approach. Well, really, Bandit Keith, you know, he, he tends to go with the machines. Uh, he also got, as you saw, he had, like, Trap Hole and uh, some other things that can annoy you. I think he also has Limiter Removal, which is really scary, if you think about it. Um, nice, Royal Decree, so I don't have to worry about any of his Trap Cards, uh, if he sets some. But um, Pegasus, as you saw... Uh, he'll go with the Toon World approach, and as you saw in our first attempt, uh, he'll also play like Relinquish and other stuff to uh, confound you. So, and Bones here, he'll go with the approach of the, uh, you know, the zombie deck, uh, much like he did in Duelist Kingdom. Ah, uh, that hurt. Brains, 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 brains. But, um... Yeah, actually, if you think about it, Bones' strategy, nice, Tribute to the Doomed. Uh, what that does is you discard a card, and then it destroys the monster, so that's pretty good. Uh, but Bones actually had one of the most broken strategies, if you think about it, in Nola's Kingdom. Uh, I guess you could say it was thanks to uh, Band of Keys' help, but uh, yeah, Call of the Haunted was really, 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 really broken in Duelist Kingdom, um, because it not only brought his those cards back as zombies, but it kept reviving them, you know, over and over, over and over, so it was really a 
almost impossible strategy to beat if you think about it. How could you beat me? This is absolutely ghastly. Ah, I get it, because zombie is ghastly. Brains, 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 brains. All right, but that is it for tier, uh, which tier is this? Five, tier five, I think. Let's pick Obelisk. I think Robotic Knight is probably the best card among those there. But yeah, I, that will be the end of this episode. And uh, yeah, as you guys see here, normally I save in the first slot, but I created two. So I'm gonna save in the fourth slot um, here. Uh, and just kinda, I'll probably end this video, uh, what time are we at, 20 minutes? Uh, that's not too much time, actually. Um, yeah, last time I also recorded some bonus episodes with Mayfell. Uh, I was trying to get, you know, Legendary Ocean, uh, more copies of the first field card our deck came with. Uh, so you know what? Uh, I think if I ended it here, it kind of seemed like too early. So, uh, let me just change decks here. I think this is the Warrior. Yeah, this is the Warrior style deck I was using the other time. Uh, so, yeah, just to extend this episode a little bit, I guess, uh, give you guys kind of a bit of a treat, uh, due to the recording issues and everything. We'll record, well, I don't want to record too many, but we'll record one bonus episode with Mako. Or do I want to just end it here? Uh, you know, you know what? We'll record one bonus episode with, yeah, dueling, we'll duel, like, Banded Keith normally. So I think we can handle that. There we go. That sounds, that sounds like a good idea. And then after that, we'll end the episode. Yeah. So let's duel Banded Keith normally. And we should have unlocked, yeah, there's Bones as well. So we can start dueling those in single duels. Uh, but hopefully this recording did turn out right with my voice and everything, and then after this, I'll double check the recording and then start recording some on the, uh, HD capture device. So let's duel Keith and see what happens when we duel normally, when we both have 8,000. Yeah, let's duel. I can waste a couple of minutes on you, dweeb. And that's how long this duel is gonna take in America. <laughs> All right, so we'll go second. That way we can attack first. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Man, that is good water. I was actually drinking some Kool-Aid earlier, uh, but I, uh, after I, well, I ate before I recorded this, and then I felt like I had something in between my teeth. Nice draw, Aquamador. Uh, yeah, I felt like I had something in my teeth, so I actually brushed my teeth uh, after dinner there. And, um, yeah, so I kind of want to... Uh, I made some Kool-Aid earlier, so I kind of want to drink that. I made red Kool-Aid, and it, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's been a while since I had some, but... Uh, yeah, that was, that was nice. I kind of want to get some more, but, uh, you know how it kind of tastes funny? Like, after you, uh, after you, like, you know, uh, like, brush your, like, yeah, right after you brush your teeth, it tastes, like, funny if you, you know, eat something sweet or drink something sweet, so, yeah, I kind of want to wait, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Alright, Millennium Shield, what do you think? Dude, he tributed Guardian, which is better for this. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, also, Bandit Keith does not have a fusion deck, which is uh, sort of interesting. Most players, well, not most, but a few players do have, I'm gonna go with Legendary Fisherman here. A few players do have a fusion deck. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm surprised in his fusion deck he didn't have, uh, man, what's the fusion card I'm thinking of? Like, he played it as a normal monster in Duelist Kingdom, 
But it's actually a fusion monster in the real game. Uh, Labyrinthine. Yeah, Labyrinthine. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, I'm surprised they didn't give him that for a uh, fusion monster, because I think... I think we might have seen it in the first uh, round with tier 5, but uh, Cannon Soldier is actually in his deck, so... Nice. Good thing I attacked with the... Uh, Legendary Fisherman there. Man, that car looks so cool, man. It look it looks like like they only showed Mako they didn't never actually show like Mako's dead in the anime, like, you know, actually going around doing anything, you know, too big, but uh it definitely looks like, you know, like his blacked out face. Cause they, I think they only showed his face blacked out. Uh if they did show Mako's dad actually doing anything, it wasn't like too much and it, it was only what maybe 30 seconds at most so uh, all right but this tool's going pretty easily i mean i thought it would mainly because we have the advantage with this version of umi um but yeah also uh yeah you may find some duels with banner keith you know kind of heads or tails um like, really, if he sets a few of his trap cards, and then, uh... Oh, yeah, see, there's Cannon Soldier right there. Yeah, if he sets a few of his, of his trap cards and is able to get out... Like, I think he even has this card, a uh, Cybertech Alligator. If he's able to get that out, then, you know, you're in for some for some trouble. Uh, but, yeah, he, he does have Cannon Soldier here. Which is pretty good, actually. Uh, if you... Uh... For finishing people off. Yeah, uh, it, it's effect if you tribute a monster, it's like 500 points of damage, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't like tribute itself just for, you know, a little cheap shot there. Um, I'm surprised he even put it in attack mode, really. Uh, but let's see, if I tribute for cyber tech, I don't think that'll finish him. Oh, wait! No, no, it probably will, actually. So here we go. Tribute Mystic Tomato for Cybertech. Uh, and then we put a United We Stand. Now when you have the Legendary Ocean card combo, the Legendary Fisherman Umi combo, don't play like your best card like United We Stand. Don't play it on Legendary Fisherman because it won't work. And then you'll be like, dude, what the heck? Can't believe I made a mistake that big. <laughs> Is that all you got, Dweeb? <laughs> oh man. All right, you're asking for it, kid. Nobody makes a fool of Ben and Keith. Nobody. <laughs> ah, no way. I'm the best duelist in the entire United States, also known as America. All right, and we'll pick the obelisk statue. Oh, nice! And we got another copy of Cybertech Alligator. That's a pretty good tribute monster. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully my voice is recorded right and everything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, hopefully this is all set to go. And uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for next time, guys. Um... um Oh yeah, and I don't think I explained it, but um, in the next video, we're going to go for Tier 6, and we have Mai, who's new, Kaiba, who's new, and then Yugi again, um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad I kind of remembered this, but um, yes, yeah, see, uh, Yugi was also in an earlier tier, in this one, in Tier 1, um, but now that you may wonder, like, why is he in tier 6? Does it matter? Yes. Yes, it does. If you put him last, like you normally do to unlock uh, a new player, it'll actually update, you know, some of the cards in his deck. And he'll get rid of some of the worst cards. And he'll have s some of his better cards, you know, once you play him in this tier, in tier 6. And then... Like like I said, put him toward the end like you normally would. So when you're when you're doing this tier, don't don't just skip Yugi and like not put him at the end. No, make sure you put him at the end at least once and beat the tier. 
That way you'll update his deck. So, um, now we probably won't be taking on this tier for a while, but yeah, keep that in mind if you're just, you know, going through the tiers pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll probably go back to, in the, uh, HD videos on my capture device, we'll probably go back to this tier and unlock Pegasus. He's the last one. Uh, and it'll actually be hardest with him at the end. So we'll unlock Pegasus, and then we'll probably go back. I may do a few bonus episodes with Mako, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, this, yeah, getting the recordings to work has been so, you know, temperamental. I don't, I don't know if I'll go for that or not. Uh, but hopefully all the issues are fixed now. Um, and, but we'll probably, yeah, do a lot more on the HD capture device. And I think we also want to go for some good magic cards. Like, I think it's time we try to add cards like, that are good magic cards. Uh, like Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity. I don't know if we can get Raigeki yet or not. And then, and then our two field cards of a Legendary Ocean. So I think that's what I want to go for before we go to the next tier. Go for cards like Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, you know, Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar, stuff like that before we go to the next tier. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.